And let's have a wee wander around Peccary Hill. Or Peccary, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. Oh. Clubhouse is way mm, What I assume is a clubhouse is way over here. Okay. Just looks like it's gonna be solid golf. I'm not sure yet. Maybe watch TV. Hmm. Back to Angola, yeah. I mean, I can just see right away. It looks like it's gonna be a very solid course. Um, the sculpting looks really cool. Oh yeah, we're going fairly. Like, we're going with minimal rough, which I, you guys know, I like. That's a five, is it? Okay. And then this thing's going to roll away for her to get him out because there's no rough there, which I think is just a great way to, particularly on a par 5, it's a great way to do it. Can't figure out pitches. Can't putt either. Other than that, we're good. Yeah, this is just, this is just solid. Like, it's just really good. The details of the planting and, uh, the kind of the waste area. Oops. Really, really good. Little red fast there to make sure everyone's awake. It just looks like a really good golf course. It's just the best way to describe it for me. I can see why Charlie suggested it. Kind of got that Angola, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 Africa is what I'm getting at it, and I can't remember if Angola is in Africa or not. That's terrible. Just very, very solid. What are some other courses that, um, I think his name's Jeremy. What are some other courses he's designed? That's not, uh, oh, it is. Did you? Cool. Is it in Africa or am I not remembering correctly? I think this is three wood. It is Africa, huh? Go me. Like this, this is just really like the does the 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 way that he's done the the lighting and the planting and everything. It just all works together so well. So then, yeah, Angola works because it it does feel African like African to me. The environment. Oh, that's right. And yours was the one that had all the, um, on your first hole you had, like, drop areas, didn't you? Like, you kind of finagle drop, drop zones. In Dongo Village. Yeah, okay, I remember that now. I definitely remember Trail Duckers. K 
can't, it's hard to forget a course that you knock it on a green and two and make an eight. <laughs> it's, it's happened. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely got, I agree with you, David, there's, it's just, you could very easily get lost playing this course, just getting lost in the course, you know, and just kind of course that you could play and then it's the 18th hole and you're like, really? Didn't, didn't realize we'd been playing that long. Didn't feel like we were there yet. It's just like this, this, this detail here just looks really, really good. And the coloring of it just matches everything else so nicely. <laughs> How are you playing now, PNB? You ready for Q school? You need a bit more time still. Yeah, this is just crazy. The greens have that subtlety to them, but still are interesting, which I like. Um, like we've got kind of orange bordering on red rather than just ridiculous red. Uh, I'm talking about TGC tours though, PMB, not not career mode. Oh, so okay. So you're not you're not up there yet. Okay. Yeah, the, I mean there's these these are these are wallpapers. And then what a drivable four. Narrow as hell. Try and cut a driver up against the wind to see if I can just sneak one through here. Oh, that was so close to being really, really good. Oh, yeah, there's a new dam this week, isn't there? That's right. Hmm. Hmm. It's only three o'clock. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to stop saying how good everything looks because I'm just repeating myself constantly. Oh, 103. Are you using the vibrations? Well, I know you're using vibrations in certain areas, PME, but for golf, are you using the vibrations? Yellow card? Why? What the hell are you yellow carded for? Did I just make two eagles in a row? Jeez. So like you have the stick back and then when it vibrates you go forward? Because that was the thing I found when I went oh, first started without um, 
the meter for putting was the getting the distance right was a nightmare. Once I figured out that the the controller vibrated, that was kind of when you're supposed to, to push stick back for. I was like, oh okay. I'm just curious if there's been a bad hole in this course yet, or even like a, you know, kind of okay, decent hole. I think they've all been great, haven't they? So there's birdie, eagle, eagle, birdie. Wow. Um, there's different schools of thought on that. Um, there are people who don't like it. I find I would I would have it on at least at the beginning to get an idea of how far back you need to, to take the putter back before you swing forward. And then if you don't like it, I, you can always disable it. But it's very difficult to know how long of a putting stroke to have if you don't have that. I mean, you could always practice like crazy, I suppose, but who wants to do that? Yeah, 9 under through 9 is fun. So is 10. 10 through 10. Can we go 11 through 11? I guess we can. Sweet. Yeah. And the thing I'm finding with the really good courses is they're usually scorable. Because the, what I consider to be a good course, at least, like a realistic course, we, we can hit the ball so well in the game that they end up being kind of easy. Because you almost need to gimmick courses in this game now to make it um, difficult. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't break? Oh, well, we're gonna have to make an eagle now. Damn it. Huh. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if they were going to have a tour, tour stop here, they'd need to, the conditions would need to be a good bit more difficult because I'm hanging on to Elite by the skin of my chinny chin, or by the skin of my teeth. And, um, well, this is happening. Ooh. Well, this isn't going to be easy. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right, Trail Docker. Oh, what was that one called? Because, yeah, it, it just beat the hell out of people on CC. Holly something or other? Holly Point? Is that the right one? I remember liking the course too, but 
yeah, the conditions they had it were were a bit harsh. It happens every now and then. Hmm. Friendly kick up the uh, fairway there. Yeah, now I'm starting to think the greens might be a little bit too subtle. Is it just there's not a whole lot of break in anything? Um. Okay. Not entirely sure how that ended up there, but okay. That was a tough pin. I thought I might have been swimming when the ball took off. Oh, that's right. He okay. That's so. That's why I don't really know too much about his courses. He wasn't able to finish that one. Uh, it's up. Oh, we can't get there. Or maybe we can. It's funny, it's 611, so I just immediately think, oh yeah, we can't get there. Eh, hang on. Can we ever get there? My god. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll just, we'll just pretend we didn't do that. <laughs> I hammered that. <laughs> oh my god, did I ever hammer that? Mm, tough finisher, too. Yeah, a bit better at Vinay. Well, depends on where the pin is, I guess. I don't know that I'd really risk going left too much for an angle. Ah. Oh no. We bogey 18 for 59. That's tough. That's tough. That's just a really good course though. My goodness. Yeah, after 15th, we after 15 we just fell apart. One over the last 3. Unacceptable. Such a good course. Just such a good course. Um, that's my style of course right there. Great job, Jeremy. Great job.